Samara, why did oh. you want to come? Why did you apply to Time Place Space? Um, I guess I applied to Time Place Space because I feel like I'm at a point in my practice where I was um, asking questions that felt quite large and um, I, found, I found it quite exciting, the provocation to go and spend two weeks with um, artists of all different disciplines from across Australia and, and internationally in kind of this extraordinary condition of, of um, camping in, in these different natural landscapes. And I just found, I guess I thought and, and um, have been fortunate to experience how kind of exciting that is and, and how much growth and shifting of perspective it allows to do that. So what about you, Liz? I, I applied uh, to time, place, space. Um, I think maybe for a couple of reasons, uh, of course, to meet all of the other artists and spend time in this really um, unusual set of conditions, and uh, to to experience what it's like to make work and and conceive of new work in a space that's pretty radically um, different to the to the to the time, place and space that I usually do. Uh, we're just moving back to camp um, after having to sort of abandon camp yesterday uh, and tents were sort of snapped in the wind and there was a lot of confusion about where we, were, where we should go and where, where we would sleep overnight and should we move back and what was the wind going to do. And I think everybody's sort of um, in a bit of a state of um, is feeling a little unmoored to borrow someone else's word from earlier <laughs> in the day but that this sort of really the emotional state in relation to the physical state is quite real out here and I think that's um, been an interesting thing to watch today as well how these sorts of how all of the relationships that have formed are kind of um, yeah just being um, coming coming to coming to the fore in different ways which is um, interesting. Yeah, and, and also interesting in terms of um, collaboration and, and mm. kind of what artistic collaboration looks like. And in this situation, it's so extreme, but it's potent and it's um, tangible in terms of how how do we collaborate? How do we deal with difference? How do we deal with varying needs, varying expectations, varying modes of communication? So it, it does it. it turns the cooker up and, and it's exciting what yeah. what gets understood and, and how we can grow through those challenges. Yeah, I just watched a really great thing happen. Actually, we, we both got involved when we saw it happening, but as we were remounting re tents in the kind of crazy <laughs> wind that's still going on, um, there's a group, um, <laughs> Malcolm, <laughs> Malcolm, Michael and Beck are making karaoke videos and sort of in the midst of putting the tent up, just kind of <laughs> like pulled out the laptop and started <laughs> dancing around with like this enormous fly, khaki fly of the tent. Um, and everybody just sort of as they walked past joined in to this kind of karaoke video construction <laughs> that was just happening at the same time as the tent going up just because yeah. that's what's available here and feels like it's a really reasonable kind of thing to happen at the same time.